Teaser rate mortgages are back. Hey everybody, Scott Walters. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage um, today. It would appear. Well, it wouldn't appear. It's here. Teaser rate mortgages are back. Are you seeing what's playing out right now? This is insanity. If you're new, subscribe, subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time in history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will continue to sharpen iron. We have to acknowledge the elephant in the room today. This is a big, ugly issue. Listen, friends, you've all been hearing about this rate buy-down where you can get the seller or the builder or somebody to buy down the rate. All that is is temporarily locking in a low payment for maybe a year, a two two years, maybe three. And they're probably selling. I haven't firsthand dealt with somebody trying to convince me or one of my clients to, well, we're doing rate buy downs. First of all, I never let my client do that. That's a ticking time bomb. All it's doing is the same exact thing is an arm mortgage, an adjustable rate mortgage, a teaser rate mortgage. Listen, friend, we can get you into this low payment for the first year and the Fed's probably going to be dropping. That's what they're saying too, for sure. Guaranteed 100%. <sighs> Fed will probably be dropping. You can refinance it. You'll probably never even need to. <laughs> you never need to worry about it. This is safe. That's what they're, this is what happened. But most people, when we buy a home, we trust the real estate professionals, your lender, your realtor, to guide us properly. And in the last 2008 era, the adjustable rate mortgage, the teaser rate mortgage was the primary reason we saw a bunch of people walking off a cliff because their loans did what? You guessed it, they went adjustable. They went up and they couldn't tolerate those higher payments. The, the lowering of interest rates, the re capability of refinancing was not there. In fact, let's just say for kicks, and giggles. Let's say you take this rate buy down, you lock in a low payment for the first year and then it adjusts after the second and then again to the current interest rate in the third. Well, even if, even if you wanted to refinance and the housing market continues to decline and you go to refi your house, but it's no longer worth what you paid. So you can't refinance it. You can't refinance an asset that is no longer worth what is owed on it. This has ticking time bomb written, written all over it. It's laughable to me. I'm laughing at this. Rate buy down is nothing more than a 2008 teaser rate marketing product to get people to move on a house. It is desperation time out there. We've talked about this. We see this. It is all playing out in spectacular, spectacular fashion. So as we ring the bell, sound the alarm, read between the lines, look between the cracks. I want everybody to understand this whole rate buy down narrative that you're hearing now. It is being very normalized. It seems very safe. It seems like a good thing. Listen, uh, listen, uh, client, I can, uh, they're offering to buy down the rate. I say we throw them an offer because they're going to buy down the rate. Are you kidding me? No. 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Lock in a loan that is safe. You can refi later if, in fact, the property is capable of refinancing. If it isn't, the last thing you want is your loan to go adjustable. You're going to see a lot of people that, I, if we're forward-thinking, critical thinking, we get in front of this, I am here to guess that in a year, two years, as soon as these buy down of rates start to go adjustable and we're in a declining economy and a housing market and a recession, these people's payments go up and they are in now bigger trouble. This buy down of rates has disaster. It's almost borderline criminal. This needs to be stopped right now. I believe people are really taking a big gamble, a roll of the dice. And listen, friends, listen, listen up right now. Whew. Taking risks is always something we have to do, but calculated risk, not dumb, uneducated, let, letting our financial future, somebody roll the dice who has financial gain Roll the dice for us with our financial future. We have, there is, there, there's a lot of risk to take right now. There is a lot of risk to take. 
calculated risk. It's very easy for me personally. To buy a property, I'm going to examine a property first and see how many days on market, how many price reductions. And if they're still stuck on the market, I know I'm going to throw them an offer and I'm not going to fall in love with the house because I'm going to be ready to walk away if they don't accept my offer and keep doing that until it sticks. It's going to take an agent ready to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty because they got spoiled. That's why they're all dropping out right now. They went from putty people puttying their hands... Right. Okay. How can I? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to write over asking price offer. We got. There's getting this a bidding war. That is gone. Those agents. You roll up your sleeves and you say, "Let's write offers. Don't fall in love with anything." But agents aren't willing to do that. Why? Because they're in worse shape than the sellers themselves. Insane, right? I really want you guys to wrap your head around the dynamic of what's now playing out with this real estate market. We're going to talk more about the expectation, the realistic expectation of this playing out. I've always said it comes down to the percentage of likelihood. What is the percentage of likelihood that you put on a housing market that was artificially created through market manipulation, stimulus era, bubble behavior, that it can sustain itself? That is the most risky of all housing bubbles. So anybody not putting, willing to put any percentage of likelihood that there's any, oh, there's no problem here. We're saying a simple correction. Be careful of those people. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody who wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history couldn't sustain itself. We are now reaching and grasping at Straws offering teaser rate buy down of rates is only a teaser rate mortgage similar to what we saw out of the adjustable rate mortgage, the arm mortgage of the 2008 era that caused a massive housing collapse. You're only locking in your payment for a year. What's going to happen for are you ready to gamble with your financial life now? When you think in a year, somehow we're magically off and running again into this, the most healthiest run to the moon market ever. No, no, my friends, the percentage of likelihood quite possibly is going down. If you're looking at properties today, tomorrow, next year, easy stuff. Examine how many days on market, how many price reductions, how motivated they are. Have an agent that's willing to go write your offers for you and don't fall in love with the house. And then look into a traditional safe mortgage, not a gambling with your financial life buy down of rate, a teaser rate mortgage packaged up and sold to you in a, in a new way called a rate buy down. It's a teaser rate, my friends. Please be careful out there. The waters we're swimming in now are quite dangerous. Like I said, Examine days on market, price reductions, what's my cost to own with today's interest rate and a 30-year fix, and what would the house rent for? I want to know if anything happens here. I can put a renter in there and they can make my payment, and the purchase price is less important now because someone else is making the payment. 10 million people didn't do that, and they're now facing financial disaster. If you appreciate the content, I'm going to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear if you need help buying or selling real estate here in America. I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience as always. Thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. We'll see you on the next video.